What's going on, Legion of Zen? Welcome back to another episode. We're going to be opening up some Chinese Pokemon cards. If you're new to the channel, we open up a bunch of different Pokemon stuff. We also open up some Dragon Ball Super and other TCGs as well, but primarily Pokemon. And so today we are going to be getting into a Chinese box, and this is a Guard of War of the 25th anniversary. And it looks pretty awesome from what I've seen so far. There's some promo cards in here. There's some packs. And it's going to be a pretty cool opening. Let's get into it. All right. Here we go. We have the box. Just so you guys can see everything that's going on here. Uh, awesome Gardevoir uh, art here. And then you have the information of the set back here. Now I am gonna zoom into this just a little bit so you guys can see it. As you can see, it is in Chinese. Now, these boxes are sold in Taiwan and Hong Kong. Those are the locations where you can get them. You can buy them online and have them imported from those places. But uh, these are basically, this is basically what you get in here. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool. Now everything here is in Chinese. So we're gonna open it. We're going to look at everything and we are going to uh, just enjoy this 25th anniversary opening, which I'm very excited about. All right, let's do this. Now, um, so that you guys are fully aware, this is a wonderful box to use to store your cards. So if you do buy one, uh, it, <clears throat> it, it serves multiple purposes. One. To, to bring you the cards that are in the box and to as a storage box which uh, is you know is pretty awesome now it is just your standard cardboard storage box nothing insane about it but it does have that nice artwork on the outside so you can put it up kind of make it a, a decorative thing or whatever the case is but here we go we not only have a cardboard card box on the outside to store your uh, whatever cards you want to put in there, but you also have a traveling card box and we are going to try and get into that. Okay. Well, we're going to get the sleeves out first, right? So let's take a look here. We've got some sleeves. So very cool. We get uh, these beautiful Gardevoir sleeves to match the artwork of the box and, uh, and the whole theme. Now, these are the Japan. These are Chinese, right? Which are made in, in in Japan. You know, everything everything here is made in Japan, unlike the English stuff. And uh, as you can see, these are actually a little bit different than the English sleeves. So if you are looking for better quality sleeves, these are probably going to be better quality. We're going to get into that in just a minute. But let's get into uh, into the box again here, real quick. We'll close that up. And we'll take a look at this nice little deck box. Now, what do, what's what's the deck box? What, what is that? What is that deal? Why do you need a box inside of a box inside of a box? Well, very simply, if you want to put cards to play uh, or to take with you uh, to different you know places or whatever, if you want to take them to a tournament or a friend's house or whatever the case is, you can use your uh, your deck box pretty much now it does come with these uh, tabs so that you can separate your cards and of course you have uh, this beautiful felt uh, inside which is very high quality uh, this box is looks very high quality with a magnetic uh, closing uh, lid very nice I do like that a lot and also on the bottom you see that it says Pokemon uh, a 2021 Pokemon and, and the information there. Now it's got a Pokeball here on the side. Uh, it does have a nice little Poke, uh, kind of like an eyeball pattern, right? You've got your um, your psychic eye pattern there, and then 25th anniversary on this side. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous box. Very beautiful box. I like that very much. And uh, just to kind of show y'all what's uh what's going on here i'm just going to take some of these cards right i've got i got a stack of uh, of cards here that i have not put away yet and i'm just going to slide them in here now uh, as you can see the the cards are a little bit smaller for there now that means that you could probably just take a sleeve 
This is a regular penny sleeve and the penny sleeve fits perfectly fine. So these are designed to work with not just the regular uh, sleeves that come with the packaging, but also you can fit your penny sleeves in there as well. Um, so there you go. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Now, <clears throat> let's move on and take a look at some of the cards that are in here. Now, uh, we did mention that there were some promos and there were some packs. So let's go ahead and move the packs out of here real quick. And let's take a look at the promos because these are actually uh, some of the, I guess, the cards that you would want to get this box for, right? So you've got the beautiful clay doll. The pattern on these cards is absolutely gorgeous. It absolutely defeats the English version, in my opinion. Um, I know that, you know, it's all, it's all based on uh, people's taste. Uh, so if you do like the English cards more, then, you know, you like the English cards more. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but check out this clay doll. I am going to try and show you guys these cards on a close-up. But look at the sparkle on that clay doll. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, it does have the texture that, uh, you know, we've seen with the Japanese cards. Again, these cards are made in Japan. They are printed in Japan. Uh, now... Chinese cards do have the back English um, art on it, obviously with the Pokemon and the Pokeball. So you do have the English back Chinese front uh, that is very much like the Japanese. So that is a gorgeous clay doll. Uh, I do want to test out these sleeves because one thing that I do not like about the uh, sleeves that are in the English stuff is... The fact that they are not very good quality anymore. Now, here you go. That slid right in without a problem. The new sleeves from the English stuff are not fun to deal with. Uh, putting the card in is not good. Uh, it, it takes a lot of a lot of power to put it in. Uh, you've got to open it up properly. It's just it's it's painful. So uh, I did like that. I do apologize for the hammering. My next door neighbor has been pretty much doing construction the entire year, uh, 24 seven. I, 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 I can't record without hearing a saw or banging or anything like that. There's really nothing I could do about it. I will do my very best to edit that out or to at least minimize it in the editing. But uh, I did want to make you guys aware because it, you know, it's not something I can really control. Hopefully it can't be heard over my voice or the background music that I play. So that is my hope. Uh, and of course he bangs louder as soon as I apologize for it. But Gardevoir is the main attraction here on this box. The hollow on that, the pattern, absolutely gorgeous. This car is top notch. The quality is fantastic again. Japanese quality, so you know you're getting better quality stuff than the English cards. Now, this card does have a little bit of a thing up here on the edge, but nothing crazy. Uh, not not bad, not bad. Now, we are going to go ahead and slide that right in here and put that off to the side. And then we have Groudon, which uh, also looks fantastic. There we go. Beautiful Groudon card. And again, the back looks pretty, uh, pretty good. There are a couple of little minor dings here, uh, but again, nothing too crazy. Uh, it's still better quality than uh, most of the English stuff that we see. So uh, we'll slide that right in there. Beautiful, beautiful card. Now let's take a look because there is something else in here and it's something that uh, is actually pretty cool. It's, it's, it's a nice addition to this box, something that I really, really thought needed to be put into the English Ultra Premium Collection, and they didn't. It would have made the Ultra Premium Collection uh, box premium, or at least closer to premium, because in my opinion, it really wasn't very premium. Uh, there was a lot of things wrong with it, and uh, <clears throat> mostly quality control issues, but this would have helped a little bit in that aspect. 
This really gives this box a premium feel to it. Not only that, not only this, but the fact that it comes in a nice cardboard box that you can use for storing your cards. Uh, it comes with the deck box that you can travel with, which is very quality. Uh, this is sealed in here pretty well. As you guys can see here, it is a beautiful acrylic case. It has uh, the front is clear. The back one has an insert in it that is actually uh, removable. So you could remove it if you wanted to. If you don't want it to have any Pokemon information on there, you can remove it. Now, it is a decent quality build. This is a kind of a, I'm not sure what material this is, but it's kind of like a plastic, uh, kind of foldable, bendy plastic, not really foldable, but it is bendy, uh, which is nice. But you can add that back on, and it has a beautiful pattern. It has that beautiful psychic pattern. There we go, trying to get that in the light. Beautiful psychic pattern. It does have that Pokemon card game uh, logo on there, and I think it gives uh, this you know, a very beautiful look to it. Now, um, you know, you can you can put your card in here. Uh, best probably to be done with a different type of sleeve, but we are gonna leave it in this sleeve right here. Um, yeah, so we are going to put it uh, in here as well. All right, so there we go. All right. So I lined it up as best I could uh, for the purposes of the video. We'll we'll try and we'll try and line them up a little bit better once we get this stuff in here. But it does come with the hardware, which is really nice uh, for a stand. If you want to put it up as a stand, which uh, most likely most people will want to do that, and. Uh, uh, just taking a look here to see how this functions. Um, Two thousand years later. All right, so we are trying to line these up, and uh, the only downside to this is that it's not—it doesn't seem to be very easy to line up. Um, there's no insert on the acrylic for the card to go into, which uh, I think would have been a nice addition to that. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, we don't want to ask for too much here. I mean, the fact that we are getting this uh, right out of the gate is pretty good. So let's go ahead and see if I can get this on here without moving the insert. Eventually. Lined up. Now, obviously there's some stuff in there, but I just want to show, I am going to redo this. Uh, probably not while I'm recording, uh, but I did want to show you guys basically what it looks like and how it works. So, um, I do have to go back in there. There's like a little white fluffy thing in there that uh, I'm going to have to, you know, remove. Uh, you also probably want to, you know, clean it after uh, so that you can remove any fingerprints off of it. And what we want to do here is take these little screws and, uh, and put them in through the back here. Now, probably a good idea to get yourself a screwdriver to start things off. And maybe put one of these in at a time. Two hours later. It's very hard to keep the, there we go. All right, so I, th I think this is actually the best way to do it is just the way I did it there. Um, except the card has slid out of its place. So this is, this is a little bit tricky. This is a little bit tricky. And um, unfortunately, there's not, an, as far as I can tell, there's not a very easy way to go about doing this. Um, 
you know so unfortunately there are going to be fingerprints on it by the time you're done it just seems to be uh, the the way it's going to be you know i mean there's really no way around it uh, you don't want to get your fingerprints on the inside but again very difficult to do six and a half hours late and we are going to try and screw this in right here all right so you do have to press on it very very hard uh so that is definitely a downside and as you can see the card already moved again Uh, very, very annoying. This is not the easiest thing I've ever done. I will tell you. Not even close. Um, once you've kind of locked it in... Once you've locked it in... Okay, oh, hey, alright. I kind of banged it into place. So... What I want to do now is just go over to the other corner, and this is probably going to be the better way to do this as well, is to go from one corner to the other and then uh, screw this in. This is not a, a very easy task, guys. Um, it is nowhere near as easy as the one that I have for Yu-Gi-Oh! I do have a, uh, in the background here, as you guys can see, I do have a Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, this is a Korean Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, or a Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh, and um, that was very easy because it's got an insert where you put the card in with a sleeve. Uh, this does not have an insert into it, so there is no easy way to just keep the card from sliding out, um, sadly. Now, I will go ahead and put, whoop, almost dropped that, whoo. You don't wanna drop your screws. Tr do this in a place where you have full control of, of all of your, your stuff. Oh wait, that, that's the wrong side. Um, and if you have sausage fingers like me, big fat uh, fingers, <laughs> things are a little more difficult when you're handling little objects like this. So, uh, just, uh, you know, be aware. And there we go. So we've, I think we've got, uh, we've got three of them in place. Like I said, this was much more difficult than I expected. Now, um, there are two different ways that you can go about doing this. Now, you could just put these in here on the bottom and call it a day and leave it closed, leave it sealed there, and I just threw the screw, or you can use one of these as well. And this is a screw as well. This is easier to put on. There you go. Definitely easier to put on. And that allows your card to be a stand. And you know, if you want to put it as a stand, I recommend doing that too. So it might actually be easier to do this and put this in first and start with these so you don't need the screwdriver right away because the screwdriver is a little bit harder to uh, use with these screws now the downside is like you can turn this but i think that's pretty much as good about as good as it's going to get sealed in there um i don't see uh any openings i, I think that's pretty good now as you can see here's the back because I put it in with that sleeve, it's got that beautiful Gardevoir sleeve in the back, so you could always show that off if you want. Uh, you can't really see the sleeve from the front, so I'm actually pretty good with that. I'm, I'm actually happy that I put it in the sleeve to protect that card. Um, and, you know, I think it looks pretty good. Now, it was troublesome to get that done, so I have to give them a little bit of a thumbs down for that. But overall, I think this was, I mean, this looked good. It looks good. You just got to go back and clean it 
with a nice little uh, microfiber cloth or something like that so you don't get it damaged and then you're good. So uh, guys, there was also some packs in here and let's go ahead and open these up. Now you are gonna have two extra screws, whether you use the little screws or you use those bigger um, screws that uh, are for display. Uh, you're gonna have two extra screws. You're welcome to put those away and just, you know, um, you know, use them if you want to later on or, or not. Uh, if you wanna get rid of them, you can as well. So here we go, we have an electric energy here, a Dialga, again, beautiful, beautiful cards. The front is like the Japanese, the back is like the English. Uh, however, you do have the Chinese lettering. And a Ho-Oh in that pack. So uh, we didn't really get anything in that one. That was a, a bit of a dud pack right there. However, beautiful cards regardless. Uh, we have a Psychic Energy, a Zekrom. We have Professor's Research, Eveltal, a Cosmom uh, in that pack. So another dud pack there. A Dark Energy, Groudon, Kyogre. We have a Reshiram and a Mew, and this is one of the new uh, prism type uh, cards that has a beautiful prism hollow pattern. Uh, these are pretty rare, and uh, that's a great little Mew to, uh, to get there, so very nice. And we'll put that in a sleeve right there. Now I am trying to collect the set. Um, I do have it in the binder, so definitely looking forward to completing this set. There is a uh, Zacian V and another Prism card. So we got a double whammy here. Uh, the Prism cards, I believe, uh, there are Prism cards for pretty much every card in this set. Uh, again, the Chinese cards do not come with uh, the promo packs. You get those promos like the Gardevoir, the Groudon, uh, from the classic collection, you get those in as promos for these uh, items, for the boxes, for the uh, the blister bo uh, packs, and stuff like that. So there you go. We have a Pikachu right out of the gate there, and a Cosmom, Zekrom there, and uh, and so we did get some pulls. Nothing crazy. Would have liked to see a Gold Mew, obviously, out of the out of the box but we didn't that's all good uh either way I, again i am very 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 happy with the quality of everything here uh the one thing i would say is that pokemon should have put some sort of an insert in the acrylic so you can slot put just put the card in right there and uh it's not flush with the with the or so that it is flush with the card and uh and so it makes it easier for you to maneuver they didn't do that but they do i mean this is still this is still beyond anything that we got in english in that upc box in my opinion obviously the gold cards were nice and all that stuff and we're not getting that here but how cool would it have been to have the gold charizard or the gold pikachu uh in one of these acrylic cases in fact they honestly should have put two of them in there they should have made two acrylic cases one for the pikachu one for the charizard so one thing i did notice actually and i did mention the the screws that you are going to have some extra screws hanging out is you can uh you can actually close you can put the screws in here i didn't even know that until just now so you can actually close these up so that you don't lose the screws you can just put them in right there and now you can still, I mean, it is, it's a great, great thing. And then of course you got that box and that box is pretty awesome. But you can put all your cards in it. So guys, I am pretty excited about this. Uh, I'm glad I'm opening this up. We are going to be getting into the Venusaur and the Chartas, Chartas, Chartazard, the Charizard as well. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And guys, check this video out right over here. It is another awesome opening and I will see you in that video.